And uh, TRT World's Jan Hasasu is with me in the studio now. You went to an area that had been under complete siege for four years. Tell us about this extraordinary journey. Actually, we went there with the Turkish Red Crescent, and it was a tough journey because we uh, drove with uh, our trucks in a dried uh, riverbed. Uh, there is no proper road into the city right now since the uh, original roads are under the control of the Houthi forces, and they don't let any uh, aid convoy to enter the city using the, this road. The habit, I mean, the people who are living in this city, they are using this rough terrain to get uh, their uh, supplies uh, to the people inside the city. So, uh, as I said, it was a rough journey, and when we enter the city, the life looks pretty much normal until you start to talk to people. These people get used to live in a, uh, in a warring city because uh, they have been born into wars. Yemen, throughout the history, as having these kind of wars, but at the last four years, it's even getting worse with, uh, 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 with this uh, civil war, actually. You spent time in the city, you visited the camps, you talked to many people. What are they expecting from these talks, if anything? Even though they really don't, they lost the faith in, in, in uh, this kind of talks and the uh, support uh, of the international community, but they still have nothing but this. So they hope that uh, a solution comes out of these talks because the port of Hodeida, if this uh, talks is not going to solve the whole problem, could solve their uh, uh, daily needs, uh, the problems of daily needs. If the port of Hodeida opens uh, to the international aid convoys, that is uh, a major, uh, I mean, part of their daily uh, problems, actually, because they don't have supplies, they don't have food, they don't have uh, medic medicine. So uh, opening of the roads and the port is uh, by itself uh, a big step forward. How does a country so riven by hostility and by war get on that road to peace and reconciliation? Well, it's very difficult because the country is very, like, pretty much divided in, like, we have the division now, the north and the south, between Houthis and the government forces, but these forces as well are divided uh, within itself. And when I was in Sana'a, people were talking about clashes inside, uh, I'm sorry, in Adan, uh, were talking about clashes between government forces, fractions of the government forces, among the, themselves on nonsense uh, things, basically controlling some specific area or controlling some uh, business in the uh, place. Same story as in the Houthi site as well. So uh, the, the Yemeni people, ordinary people, they are really tired of this uh, fighting and they are only hoping that the international community could solve it since regional powers like Iran and Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates are involved in this uh, war as well. They are hoping that the international community could come out with a solution that they could uh, have real peace.